Just hours before the nine news debate between the two people running for Denver mayor, a document we asked for but were denied last year when a woman came forward with allegations of sexual harassment against Mayor Michael Hancock has suddenly become public. Jeremy Hohola with our Nine Wants to Know team has been reading through this newly released document, Jeremy. Hey Steve, this document is a sworn statement signed by the woman who made those allegations, Leslie Branch Weiss. It came to us today because we were asking the city about sexual harassment settlements after the mayor's opponent held a press conference. During that press conference this morning, she claims the mayor has created a culture of sexual harassment in the city. The city released this document to show Hancock's behavior didn't have any connection to a prior settlement involving his friend. This is the six-year-old document, a sworn affidavit signed by Leslie Branch Weiss in 2013 saying she had never been sexually harassed by Mayor Michael Hancock. She signed it as she was settling with the city over sexual harassment claims she made against the mayor's friend, Wayne McDonald. That settlement landed her $75,000. In this affidavit she signed, she agreed that no one else in the mayor's office, including the mayor or any other appointee or staff member or any other department or agency, was or has been involved in any such misconduct towards me. Fast forward to last year. Branch Weiss came forward saying she received sexually inappropriate texts from the mayor and felt sexually harassed. Among those texts she claims Hancock sent her was one that said, you look sexy and all that black LOL. The mayor apologized for sending the text last year, saying he was too casual. He never admitted at the time his behavior was sexual harassment. We reached out to Branch Weiss today about the release of this document now. She said in a text, my response and thoughts are let's keep the focus on the issue at hand, and that is the sexual harassment and admitted inappropriate conduct by the mayor. Now, lots of questions about this tonight why didn't this document come out last year when we filed an open records request if it were public record the city should have released it last year when we asked for it the city says back then it was entangled in a potential legal battle and they legally couldn't release it at the time but now just as we were asking questions about all of this it's available just after this morning's press conference and just before tonight's debate, Steve. A six-year-old document coming to light, Jeremy. Yes. That's obviously politics. Suddenly now on a night like tonight in the middle of campaign season. Yeah, we have a lot more questions about it. I'm sure we'll get them answered in the coming days. Thank you.